Negotiating is one of the toughest things to do when it comes to sales and marketing because no one wants to feel like they didn't make a good deal or underpriced. However, your ability to negotiate successfully can go a long way in determining the success or failure of the business. So, if negotiation is that important to a business, you really shouldn't be running away from it. Instead, you can learn how to become a successful negotiator. Here's the good news. In this video, I'll share with you 11 ways to negotiate better with anyone. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Have a strategy Like every other thing or goal that you intend to accomplish, learning to be a successful negotiator requires strategizing. According to Michael Porter, a professor at Harvard Business School, the essence of strategy is choosing what not to do. Creating a strategy for negotiating will make you confident enough when negotiating because you'll know what to do next at every point. You know what your overall goal is and most importantly, how you intend to get there. Number 2. Do your homework The last thing you want is a situation that catches you off guard because a question comes to you by surprise. To avoid that, you have to ensure that you prepare yourself properly by doing your assignments and research. The truth is that until you do your research, you can't know what is fair and appropriate. For instance, say you are gone in for a position or a promotion, the only way you can negotiate a good deal for yourself is if you know your predecessor's benefits package. Also, reviewing some of the company's documents to determine what its highest earners make and what those people do can help you negotiate better. So, it'll help to do your homework before you begin negotiating. Number 3. Be a good listener If you want your point of view acknowledged, then you should start by acknowledging others. Because you're going into a negotiation doesn't mean that you should be the only one doing all the talking, or most of it. Instead, pay more attention to what others are saying and ask questions. Here's the thing, understanding what other people's view, opinions, constraints, timelines, etc. are can help you negotiate better. However, how can you figure this out when you aren't even listening to them? Acknowledging others' view and opinion will help build the gap and make them more receptive to your offer or request. Number 4. Negotiate the process, not the substance. Negotiating is best done when you understand the process. You don't want to be the kind of person that thinks of the results only and can't wait to jump to that, ignoring the process of getting what you want. For instance, imagine a situation where you've played all your cards and given your best offer only to hear the other party say, okay, I'll take this to my boss and get back to you. That can be a little devastating. However, when you pay attention to the process and do your research, you'll be in an excellent position to negotiate rightly. Number 5. Understand your emotions and theirs Understanding the emotions of others can give you insights that will allow you to pivot appropriately during negotiation. Also, it can help you develop creative approaches to handle difficulties which may occur during the process of negotiation. Number 6. Know when to walk away You don't want to go overboard with your negotiation, so do not negotiate without options. Know when to walk away. For instance, when you say to yourself, I will walk away if I can't conclude a deal that is satisfactory. The other side can tell that you mean business. Your resolve will force the other negotiator to make concessions. You need to understand that not every opportunity is for you. So no matter how much you're willing to get that promotion, make that sale or get that position, if the deal isn't a good one, then you should walk away. When your negotiating partner realizes that you're willing to walk away, it might prompt them to negotiate better. Number 7. Your goal should be a win-win Negotiating isn't a game to be won or lost, it should be a win-win situation. See, 
A negotiation well done should leave both parties feeling good, knowing that they both gained something valuable. So, don't try to win and take it all. Instead, try to find a midpoint for everyone to win. Number 8. Be flexible. Giving people the option and chances to air their opinion makes them feel involved in the decision-making process. They don't feel forced to accept whatever you are bringing to the table. Here's the thing. While you have to be firm about your price, you don't necessarily have to be with a set date. Your terms and conditions and other related stuff. Know what you want, but don't be too harsh in your approach to get it. Number 9. Don't be in a hurry. When you are in a hurry, it makes you look desperate. And when perceived desperate, they will suggest anything to you, no matter how ridiculous it seems. Even when the other negotiator is in a hurry, be patient because when they perceive that you are not in a hurry to close the deal, they will likely offer concessions as a means of providing you with an incentive to say yes. Number 10. Build a relationship As a negotiator, you should be more concerned about building a long-lasting business relationship, not just the success of one sale. When you have a good business relationship with the other negotiator, not only does it make it easy for more negotiation in the future, it makes your business a better place. Number 11. Always tell the truth the thing about telling the truth is that it will help you get more fantastic deals in the future as well as build an excellent reputation for you and your brand. You know, people like to do business with those they consider truthful and honest. So, be transparent as much as possible and always tell the truth. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.